some very hot and muggy days, as well as some very hot and muggy nights lately. And it's going to continue. Now, today will be the exception. We'll take uh, temperatures topping out in the upper 70s to near 80 on this Thursday, but it won't last. Come this weekend, we're back in the middle to upper 80s, which is well above the normal high this time of the year. Factoring the humidity at times this weekend, it's going to feel like the low to mid 90s. We'll talk about that more coming up in the five day in just a bit. Outside right now in Beaver Creek, things are quiet. You can see just a few cars on the roads. Aside from that, uh, traffic is quiet. Temperatures are not going to be nearly as hot over the coming hours as they will over the coming days. But this morning, it is still mild. 68 degrees right now. Dew points are very close. That means it is humid to start this Thursday. A couple of 71s right now in Xenia and in Wilmington. 66 in Bell Fountain. 67 to start the day here in Sydney. We are dry on live Doppler 7 radar. Just some false ground clutter being picked up by the radar. As we head throughout the coming days, the chance for rain will be reintroduced into the forecast. As for today, it's likely going to stay just two hours south. You can see some of that rain moving through parts of Kentucky, moving to the northeast. So with that being said, I'm not going to rule out some stray sprinkles in, say, Warren, Clinton, maybe Green Counties, but I think most of us will stay dry today. It's really this weekend that we have a better chance to see a few pop-up showers. Futurecast is going to try to get rid of a stray shower or two today. But I think for most of us, it's really just going to be the cloud cover that stays with us as we head throughout the day today. Second half of today, we'll see decrease in clouds that will lead to what should be a quiet night. But notice as we stop the clock here at 5.30 a.m., this is tomorrow morning about this time, see quite a bit of fog developing on the model here. With light winds and the air being saturated, I think that there's a decent chance that we'll see some fog. We'll be, of course, tracking it here on Daybreak starting at 4.25 a.m. Let's recap the forecast for today, upper 70s. If you see more sunshine than others, you may top out in the lower 80s. Not going to be as hot, but still somewhat muggy out there. And the trend is throughout the day, mostly cloudy skies becoming partly cloudy. We'll see more clearing overnight tonight. Could see some fog as temperatures drop back into the lower 60s. Again, light winds, the air is saturated, so a decent chance that we'll see some fog. Tomorrow, kind of a summer-like day out there. Mid-80s, partly cloudy, hot once again. The chance for rain does return as we head into the weekend. Saturday, Sunday, even parts of Monday, there is that slight chance for a stray shower, maybe a few thunderstorms. The chances aren't all that great, but I'm not going to rule it out each of those days. The big story those days is the heat. Middle to upper 80s for highs. New factor in the humidity. It's going to feel more like the low to mid 90s. Weather and traffic every 10 minutes. Let's get a check on your commute this Thursday morning. Here's Sergeant Mark. Good morning, Sarge. Hey, good morning again to you, Brett. We've had a good start to the morning drive. As always, we stay in close touch with our area police departments. Everyone has reported a pretty quiet start to the morning drive. This is a live shot of the camera near the Art Institute downtown in Dayton along Interstate 75 between 35 and Route 4. We are looking at light volume, and right now travel times are all in the normal range. I'm Sergeant Mark Bauer in WHIO Team Traffic. Sergeant, thank you. It is 520, 68 degrees. Giving back to veterans. How one local organization is helping former military members. Do you want to live longer? A new study may have the answer. Our He Said, She 